Welcome to another video in the Aruba Mobility Switch tutorials. Yesterday we made a video about the 3810 M switch that we're going to use for this tutorials and now we're going to take the next setup. So we first had a look view of the hardware, what the possibilities are, what some innovation on the switch are. Now we're going to have a look at the recommended minimum configuration. Important to understand is that uh, the switch default setting is able to configure to receive a DHCP address both on the outer band management interface and on the VLAN interface. Another thing we're going to have a look at is that you have the possibility on the console to do the recommended minimal configuration via a CLI menu. So if, if you type the setup command, we're going to have a look but we're not going to configure the recommended minimal settings by that. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to show you the separate CLI command. So we're going to configure a system name. We're going to configure the system contact, manager password, time zone, community name, default gateway, time sync method, and static IP address, either on the outer band management or on the VLAN interface. So all these steps we will configure. In other tutorials, we will uh, probably going to have a look at, okay, how can you configure uh, more secure, for example, uh, do SSH, do SNMP version 3, how you can configure routing, how can you configure VLAN. So at the end of these tutorials, we should have a good configuration that you can pick and choose to get, create the configuration you need for your environment. But this is the recommended minimum. In order where you can find the recommended minimum, um, we showed a multiple videos on this YouTube channel about the HP uh, E Enterprise Information Library, so the Yulu Packet Enterprise Information Library. And in this case, I selected switches, Aruba 3810, because I'm using a 3810M. And from a content, I selected configuration firmware release nodes. And then you get all the manuals here. And I selected the basic operation guide for software version 1601. That's the uh, Aruba OS software we're using. You can see here, basic operation guide. And then if I go to page 8, and in page 8, you can see uh, the initial switch setup and the recommended minimal configuration. So important to understand where you can find the information. Now let's have a look how we can configure it. Let me get a console. First thing I'm going to do, because I have a little bit of uh, longer screen length here, is I'm going to configure the screen length to 35. So I have a little bit of more space. I want to show you this setup command because not a lot of people are aware of this. But if you type setup, and as you can see here, you can configure the system name, system contact, uh, manager password, etc. You can configure all the settings uh, as you see on the screen. We're not going to do this, but if you like this, it's a really quick and easy way that gets you to the flow of configuring the recommended minimum. So let me cancel this and get back to the, uh, uh, to the configuration menu. So the first thing we are going to configure is the system name. So let's all go into the config terminal and let's configure the host name. Oh, sorry, let's configure the host name here. And the host name we're going to use is ABCN access switch 01. Access 01. There we go. You can immediately see that the prompt is changing. Let's also get us the, uh, the system contact and I call it ABCN admin as the system contact. Let's configure the manager password. And I know this is maybe not the most secure way, but at least it gives us the possibility to obtain an IP address and make sure we can configure Telnet or SSH later. And we will show in later tutorials how you can better deal with uh, uh, with management, for example, via, uh, via ClearPass or via Radio Server. That's the password we are using. You see some messages that some uh, some services are getting disabled. Let's configure the time zone. Time, time zone. For me, I'm living in the Netherlands, so I'm plus 60. Oh, sorry. Let's see, it's uh, 60. And let's configure the uh, SNMP uh, server community name. So the community we are going to use is A, B, C, and this is the read community. Read community, and we put operator restricted to there. Let's configure the IP default gateway. 
and for me that's 10.10.10.1. The time sync message we're going to use, uh, as you can see here, is we're using SNTP, but uh, let me show you, you can also use TimeP, NTP, so you have multiple options where you can configure. SNTP, and let's configure the SNTP server immediately. It's not part of the recommended minimum, but then immediately you have uh, configured all these settings correctly. That's 10.2. And in order to configure a static IP address, I'm going to show you on the back of the video, uh, when we show you the back of the switch, you can see that there is a specific management interface that you can use with a separate cable attached to it, only for outer band management. So if you want to configure the outer band management, you do outer band management and you can uh, go in there and you can configure IP address and you can, uh, as you can see, you can configure the IP address. Yeah. What you also can do is, for example, configure on VLAN 1, we can configure the IP address as follows. Uh, let me give this one the 254 and the mask is slash 24. So now if I'm going to show you the running configuration, you can see that there is a host name, uh, time synced, SNTP server. Uh, we configured the time zone, default gateway is in here. Uh, we configured the uh, community. Uh, if we want, we can also remove this one from security, but you will see what we're going to do with SNMP in further tutorials. The outer band management is left to default, which is DHCP, and VLAN 1 is configured with the uh, with the IP address as configured, and these are automatically disabled when we configure the password from the manager. If we want to save this, we can do write mem, and this is uh, this configuration is safe. Okay, thank you very much, and we will see you in the next tutorials uh, where we can configure this this switch further and do some more advanced configuration.